Hey, my name is Zach Murray. I'm the creator of Addison, and I wanted to make this video to make sure that you get uh, the most value out of the tool we built. So first, you're going to need to create an Addison account. We offer a seven-day free trial, which gives you full access to the entire tool, all of the features, all of the glory, and access to the Chrome extension, which would be the next step. Now, once you log into Addison, your screen's going to look a little bit different than mine because you don't have all these ads saved, but we're going to change that. So... We have your Addison library and your Addison boards. Library is every ad that you have saved to Addison and your boards is your organizational structure. You can make boards for things like great animation or boards for your clients. Everybody uses boards a little bit differently. So if I head over to Facebook ad library and I find a brand, for example, like Magic Spoon, you'll see that now because I have the Chrome extension installed, there's a button as well as a drop down menu beside each one. These are the boards and the button obviously saves the ad to Addison. The cool thing about Addison is that once you save an ad, it downloads it uh, to the cloud where you have access to it forever. If ad becomes inactive, you'll have access to it forever. So let's just say I really love this ad. Um, I think it's really great. And I want to add it to a board to send to some of our content creators. I can just go in here and let's just say great animation and I can click save to Addison. And just like that, it's already saved to my Addison dashboard. So if I head over to great animation, now once an ad is saved, we also have access to a lot of the metadata. So if I click this um, little icon right here, it will bring up all the additional data that's saved with each ad. So that includes ad copy, the call to action type, the format, publisher platform, everything that we can save about that ad, we do. Another cool thing you can do in this panel is add notes. Uh, so if I was sending this to a creator, I would just say, hey, I really like the transition here and the hook really captivated me. It will automatically save once you exit that text box. And now you have notes on each ad of why you saved it, why you think it's good, and why you might be sharing it with someone. Now, on the note of sharing, I can either share this individual link with anyone, whether they have an Addison account or not, by clicking the share button down here. Additionally, if I wanted to share an entire board, whether this is a client board, um, or for example, this one, I just want to share it with an animator. I can click share up here and I sent someone this link. They would have access to all of the ads that I saved um, with them in mind. Now that's pretty much the core functionality of Addison. Once you have a library full of ads, we also offer some other filtering options as your library grows. So right now I'm displaying every single ad and we auto populate this niche not drop down, which is populated by the page type that was saved. So for example, you know, sports where, um, if I filter my entire ad library for, uh, with hashtag sportswear, I can now see all of the ads that fit that niche, whether I added them to boards or not, this is data pulled from Facebook. I can also filter by image video or carousel. I hope you liked this video. If you have any ideas or feature requests, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter at 4 um, or shoot us an email um, at Addison. So have a good one. Thanks for your time.